I'm Amy Susan, Director of Communications for the Missouri Department of Labor, and we're here at the 110th State Fair, where hundreds of people come every year to taste the food, ride the rides, see the sights, and learn about new agricultural efforts and programs. And one particular program I'd like to talk about this week is farm safety. It's a partnership between the Missouri Department of Labor and the Missouri Department of Agriculture to raise awareness about the hazards associated with the farm. Now, Brian, you were raised on the farm. Your dad told you what to do and what not to do. That and is correct. What happened when you didn't do what he told you to do? Whenever I did not follow the safety procedures I should have, I had a life-changing injury, and it, it's an injury that I will have to live with the rest of my life. I was harvesting corn and using a one-row corn picker on my farm outside of Jefferson City, Missouri there, and the header had choked up with stalks that were breaking off in it, and I threw the tractor out of gear, locked the brake. I did do that, so it did not roll, but I left the power takeoff system run because when the header was choked like that it was easier to jerk the stalks and then it would help clean the header out. It, it wasn't easier in the long run. It, in the end I ended up losing my arm because of such an action which I knew better than to do because my dad had warned me 20 years not to do that. But like I said we get in a bad habit and we never think about having an accident doing it. It's always someone else that ends up having them. It's not us, but it can be you. And I'm a living example of it, it happened to me. It can happen. In 2011, the leading cause for agricultural related injuries was due to the tractor. Why do you think that is? Well, in my opinion, a tractor is the main piece of equipment on a farm. You have to have a tractor to do farm work with, whether it's brush hogging, whether it's pulling tillage equipment, whether it's pulling hay wagons, the tractor is the main item on the farm. And we get careless with the tractor because we've used it so much, we get lax on being safe using it. When there's an injury on the farm, oftentimes they're not, they don't live to tell the tale. So what, what type of responses are you getting when you're talking to people today or this week about tractor safety? Well, whenever they see in person the life-changing injury that I have had, it makes them think safe then because I have told them that the life they knew ends the day of an accident if it's the type that I've had. It's a different life afterwards. and. They, even though they have done dangerous, dangerous things themselves, they realize that it, it could be them next. And they talk like by seeing me with my hand missing after the accident, that's changing their outlook on being safe. And you hope that image will stay with them and prevent them from doing something they shouldn't be? I hope that it stays with them to, to continue to act on safety, not just talk it and think it and to help spread the act of safety to family, friends, whoever. That way they do not have a life-ending or a life-changing injury like I have had. Well, let's hear from someone who you did talk to and see what they have to say about this program. So the farm safety to me is a, is, is a, a big issue. I mean, I was raised on a farm where we had some issues uh, with a neighbor on some safety issues, so I kind of know firsthand how dangerous that can, can be. And uh, the program that they're trying to promote here would be a great benefit to some of the rural schools, some of the FFA, 4-H, and stuff of this nature. I think would get a, a very good, good lesson from some of this. It would be uh, well worth putting a video together or something of this nature where they could present this to the schools to, to uh, make them aware of the grain augers, PTO shafts, things of this nature. Well, thank you again, Brian, for talking with us today about tractor safety. Well, you're very welcome, Amy, and I'm more than proud to do it. If it will help save someone from getting injured seriously or life-ending injury on a farm, I'm more than willing to do it. Thanks, Brian. And if you all have any questions, comments, or concerns, or want to know more information about farm safety, visit www.labor.mo.gov. And a special thanks to our partners in safety.